Hey guys, as I say, bringing you another video. Now, before the video begins, just thought I'd mention that Twitch Prime Amazon capsules are available again this time. Uh, each month they are available. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, just Google Amazon Prime LOL capsule and you'll find the links. So you just link your two accounts and then you can claim a capsule each month. And I just thought I'd go through, obviously, what this one includes. We'll also just mention, uh, if you do do that and you don't normally throw an Amazon Prime at a streamer, if you want to throw the Prime at me, I do not have to be live on on Twitch when I when you do it. That would be a massively appreciated. So thank you much if you do do that. It'll be awesome. Uh, but let's see what we get. So we get some Eternals. So we get Belveth Series 1, Graves Series 1, High Noon Jin, Severe Champion Shard, Fiddlesticks Champion Shard, Wukong, Senna Champion Shard, Aatrox Champion Shard. So if you're new to League, a lot of Champion Shards. We get 350 Riot Points, which is great, because that actually now allows me to buy some uh, Renata Glask Chromas for the new skin. That's perfect. 200 Orange Essence, 5 Mythic Essence, and a what is actually quite a big thing, a 30-day XP boost. So this is how you can level pretty quick. Uh, and I will say, ultimately, with playing on the Huzzy account more this year, the reason why I have literally gone, I want to say at the beginning of this year, we were like level 200, 250 on the Huzzy account. We're now level 402 is because I have the, uh, obviously the um, the league partner buff, which is bugged at the moment. That gives me a 40% XP boost. And now with the Amazon Prime capsules, I always have a 30 day boost from that. So they, by the way, do sync and they do multiply. So that's why I level very quickly on this account now. Uh, but there we go. If you want to check that out, please do. If you want to throw your Prime at me, that would be a massively appreciated. But if you just want to help here right now, throw a like on the video, throw a comment. It's always amazing. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the main account. And for some reason, I don't know what's been happening uh, at the moment. If you look at the borders, uh, we have a Master Aphelios on our team and I'm the Renata next to him. And then you will notice that there's one plat border on my team and there's three platinum borders on the enemy team. I don't know why or what's going on, but we are randomly being kind of put into smurf queue occasionally. I'm not the smurf. My only thought of why it's doing it is we know I have very high MMR because I'm gaining like 18 LP in wins. You don't really gain 18 LP in Diamond 1. I'm losing 15 roughly. That's high MMR. So maybe I've got high enough MMR that it is actually putting me into Smurf queue. I don't know. Um, Tanky Thorn, 10 months of Prime. Thank you so much, dude. So when you do see Platinum Borders in a Master slash Diamond 1 MMR game, it's a little bit scary. And your Arcanine did just make a point that, you know, the matchmaking does now go off more the MMR than your rank. But it's a bit scary. New skin for Renata, by the way. This is uh, one of the Fright Knight skins. That supposedly is what we voted for when we picked Goth. Even though this is definitely not a Goth. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. I like them too, but they're just not Goth. In this town, we go home in a, in a pumpkin song. In this town. Um, um, we have a Darius mid, by the way. I'm not really sure why. Um, but he was a smurf as well, I think. He had plat. Yeah, Renekton versus Gangplank. <clears throat> if, well, this has gone scaling because he's gone TP Conqueror, not Ignite PTA. So he is trying to scale, not get wrecked. Because to be honest, a Gangplank can just survive in lane, and a Renekton knows that. He's got Plank in his name, so he's probably a one-trick. Oh. Talia's, yeah, I, I get nervous about Talia's. It's very rare for them to do well, in my opinion. I usually just see them feed... And typically, she's like a challenger pick. So it's I'm a little bit nervous about it. Oh. My dudes are cheesing in a bush. Hello? Trying to use range advantage. That's how you beat a Samira. Oh, 
Dude, minion is hurting me more than the enemy champions. W is for safety if they all in at level 2. Q is if we actually want to try and kill them. Really? That hit me. This Aphelios is really confident. Wow. Dude, I am not used to having a, actually an aggressive AD carry. What? No one even to invest in before I did. <laughs> that tower I grow was weird. Right, you go, yeah. Ooh. Hitbox. Kane's over on the blue. Well, if Renekton loses early, he's kind of screwed. He has got more scaling, Renekton, but still. Hey, game of life. I don't know if we can tower dive, man. Nice. Maybe we can on the Lux. That's annoying. <clears throat> Does she double some? Let's see Hex Tech do that. I actually am really happy with that. What the hell, bud? Hello? Dude. Cannon straight up trolling. The, ta the, the cannon went up here, went all the way around. Oh, this Renekton is screwed. <laughs> I'm an independent cannon. Literally, man. What the hell? Uh, so it is a shame that obviously I got the kill, Samira got it, but we are playing crazy aggro. <sighs> At least I got the cannon. I'm rich. This Aphelios, I will say, he does seem good. Um, I think we just got a little bit caught out there. I did a good W. Don't know if I could have done much more. Or do what I want, but with more steps. Ains here. What? What the hell? Do they have a ward on the way? No way. We've been pushing them in the whole time. I've ever played Apex. Yeah, in the past I have. It's a good game, but I, I don't think it's a great game if you play it alone. I think it is very much like a, a team, have a trio or whatever. Nice. And don't ever rule this game out. They literally have Kane, Akali, Sabira. Those three can pop off later like crazy if you're not careful. Dude, Darius is getting fed, though. How is he taking so much damage? What happened? Ooh, he dove. Why is he only on 17 farm? I uh, Maybe, did he go AFK? I'm very confused. Hey, Daniello, 31 months tier 1. Hope you're doing good, man. Daniello. I did it. Ah, ignite, man. Hey, Dark. Don't know what that Lux was doing. Really weird positioning. Ah, oh, I can't believe it got that.
MHK, they level 20. <laughs> it's Donkey D, man. Oh. Okay. We're bushwookies. <clears throat> hey, Blue Sin. Yeah, it was obviously to the YouTube channel. You guys won't obviously have any impact but for the, the twitch audience it's been a bit of a day uh obviously from the car accident uh today was the day that my car got collected and the courtesy car got dropped off and the courtesy car only got dropped off maybe 20 minutes ago half an hour ago and it's like two in the afternoon it's now nearly three and they both said oh we'll try to do it early in the morning and obviously that didn't happen so i was kind of just waiting around a lot today uh which is a bit annoying uh, at least it's all done now. Oh god. I don't know why that Darius did that. He just walked in by himself. Bit weird. And then he pings the Talia? No. No. Nice. Actually good that Gangplank got that. That was accurate. What? Oh. Don't die now, bud. Why would I, I don't get why she'd then go all in when her Lux is dead? The wrong time to go all in. At least do it when the Lux is alive. Why are bruises going mid now? The meta is a little bit messed up. It has been, like, again, I know a lot of people be harsh to Riot and the balance team, etc., but it's been mucked up for a really long time. It truly has. And like I've kind of said, I don't actively think they're trying to balance the game. I, I think they have kind of given up trying to balance it for a while. Nice. Um, sometimes if they feel the game's a bit too far gone, they'll just wait till the next preseason. And that's what I think they're doing. Unless they think it's healthy. I don't know. Hopefully not. So the cane is actually getting a couple of little things by people overstaying. But even a Carly who was just involved in a mid lane thing, she heads up to top lane instead of going back. See you later, Zbogar. As I said, never rule this game out, even though it's looking good. The enemy team have got some very annoying champions. That was a bit unfortunate. I think the Talia kind of stopped me killing the... Um... The Talia kind of, I think, stopped me killing the Lux in time to res the Ophelios because I got bumped by her ult. Damn. That's annoying. Don't mind actually giving her solo gold. Yeah, I mean, League is going to get harder and harder to balance. It's always going to be. The more champions they add, the more items there are. It's going to be ultimately harder to balance the longer the game goes on.
But like the thing that I would just say ultimately annoys me the most is how some champions have been crazy for ages and that's fine. Like Kane. Kane has been strong for ages and apparently that's okay. Like that they're fine with that. It's nice if, you know, balance and if you, you know, how League used to get balanced was kind of up and down. You know, this champion is now strong, that champion is now weak, and it kind of sh shifted and changed. There's a core set of like golden champions that are always strong now. And that doesn't seem to change at all. I don't know, it's a little bit boring. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lux W. But we're absolutely outperforming this Lux like mad. He doesn't want the tower, dude. <sighs> Hayden has been strong always. Yeah, this Lux is weird. Pain has two forms, so if his one of his forms is weak, the other one's strong. Like that's the thing. Because he's basically two champions in one. And now it's messed up enough that Red Kane can buy assassin items and Blue Kane can buy bruiser items. Who said Camtech can't be beautiful? Oh god. Got caught by himself and then pings me. No dude. Damn, if Valius didn't get caught there, we'd be fine. Uh, I doubt we're going to see massive amounts in preseason. The Lux definitely feels really, like, very weak. I don't know. The only thing is, I don't know if it's the player or the champion. It could be a mixture of both. <coughs> nope. Damn, he didn't even smite. That's annoying. Lux is so bad. It's 
She's so bad. Wow. Wow. We should be able to win this game, but I don't know. The Aphelios is getting tilted. Gangplank has yet to outscale him as well, it seems. He's struggling. They are. They, you... oh. Wow, I can't again. Akali is so stupid. And Kane ultimately will be better than a Talia because it's Kane. Uh, Tofu Ferra, five months of prime. Again, Kane is probably League's easiest champion to play. Like, I would put, I'm not even being salty or whatever. I would literally put Kane's difficulty level up there with Master Yi. Takes absolutely nothing to play that champion. Hmm, you need to be careful in mid. Thanks Q, not W. Second, yeah. I get to position people around more in team fights. You're only ever really going to W once in a team fight anyway. He should have outscaled him by now, you'd think. Yeah, he has. Thankfully. Ooh, Kane's here. Ooh. Aaron. <laughs> Akali doesn't have TP in his bot lane. What is that Samira doing? It is Lux. It, just, it honestly feels like maybe that isn't a smurf. Maybe that is just a plat player. The summon ain't quite right there. Very nice. You think the only reason he's easy because his numbers are overtuned? But yeah, they always are though. They always are overtuned. And then healing obviously is absolutely ridiculous and has been for such a long time. So much, and it, you know, healing was ridiculous and then Riot nerfed anti-heal, which is just the weirdest thing literally ever. Oh, mama. I didn't want a Darius on the top of me. Get the E. Oh. I forced him to like run away so much. Hey, Ice Crispy. You should be near unstoppable by this stage now. 
Why does she have nearly 3,000 health? But why was Renekton and Samira bot lane? seeing Viego more <clears throat> the problem ultimately with a lot of the modern champion kits or modern champions they actively have broken kits we all know it riot knows it and there's only two things or there's several things that happens with broken kit champions they're either only played or they're never played there's no in between adding night barrier huh um because they're broken so the only way to fix them if you don't fix their kit is to nerf their numbers that, that's the only way so then they are nerfed ultimately to the point that they can't be played what riot should do is try to fix their kit a good example of that is akali still an absolutely ridiculous champion absolutely ridiculous in the hands now of someone that actually can play the champion before when they re when the champion just kind of got re like released um reworked anybody could play akali and anybody could do well anybody could get fed the way that they've now balanced her they removed a lot of the things that she could do. Yeah, you actively have to be pretty good at the champion to make an impact on it. But she's still ridiculous. But that, that's okay to a certain extent, I would say. Or at least it's acceptable. So Falios, he is proper tilting himself. Like he's trying to like thingy every single time. Surrender. Because I don't know, things aren't going perfectly. So he's like crying like a baby. Really annoying player. We don't, I don't even know why we really were there, if I'm honest. I just went there because he was pinging for help. Ultimately, right now, we have the strength that we could just group and win. But for some reason, he doesn't want to do that. Don't ask me why. And then Samira does the exact same thing. What the hell are AD carry players doing? And then they're the same type of players that say AD carry is a weak role. It's like, well, no, it's actually one of the strongest. It's just you constantly play it wrong. I think the whole premise, like the old premise of AD carry, for those that don't know the old premise, literally used to be pretend basically that you're a baby as an AD carry. I'm not even, it's not even being trying to be spuddy or anything. You're a baby and what do babies need to be protected? That's how you're supposed to play AD. So many ADs now go, oh yeah, I can 1v1 that cane. Nope, no you can't. Don't pretend that you can. I don't know why that whole thing kind of started of AD carries being like, I will do it myself. Why? You're literally playing the class that's designed to work with things. <laughs> That's what Nick W said. It's because the babies are now grown up and now they're in that teenage puberty stage. They're trying to be awkward with Baron now. But Kane will do that solo.
That was such a sick ult. Nice to Very nice. I did not expect that. That was lovely. Bum, bum, nice. Yeah, I'm the only one that died. But that was so worth. Akali used her ult on me. That was a fantastic. Fantastic. Hey, Jay-Z. I'm happy with that. Maybe the Aphelios will stop baby raging now. <clears throat> that would be great. Wait, guys, they are alive. Backy back. Maybe they can blow up a tower, but... Okay, we get both. Yeah, these because they're not focusing the minions. Wow, that's really bad by the enemy team. Could they not fight it? Darius should fight it, no? Yeah, he's just letting him die. The thing is, he's a rager, so the Aphelios is now going to rage. I get an assist. Why me? Oh, okay. That happened. Enemy team got to not focus me, man. We are doing pretty well this game, but... Ultimately, I'm not the absolute carry. I got her as well! I knew it! I should have W'd myself. I got her with my Q. I just should have W'd myself as well. Damn it! That was a sick W uh, Q, though. That was a pretty sick Q. I knew it was coming. Oh. Huh? Huh? That. Right? That went right through. That was right through the champion. I kind of feel bad in a way. It was above him? It looked pretty on him to me. Why is he just in a bush? <sighs> Kane? Yeah. Oh, Renekton is so weak. I still literally do not get why people play Renekton. That champion to me is obscenely weak. Again, unless when we've made those videos of you play it in a certain way and your jungler camps for you to get you ahead, unless you do that, there is no point playing that champion. All right, there we go. First game. Nice win. Again, a bit of a raging Aphelios there when he really didn't need to. He just stopped being on the side lane when we didn't need to, I guess. But yeah, not bad. Very nice. Oof. All right. So I've not obviously looked at the loading screen at all. I will give the Darius. He played well. And we'll quickly look how much LP we got. 17. That's not bad at all. All right. Let's have a little look at the, the loader Maduda because, again, there were four plat borders in this game. I'm, I've still not looked at it. It's on my other monitor. I'm just setting it all up so we can actually have a little looky looky. Over here. And then here. There we go. Let's look. Whoa, okay, yeah, so there, whoa, there are some m m m m murfs. What? That was a one-trick luck smurf. She was not great, or at least in this game. Um, So, the enemy team had three smurfs. Again, in Diamond 1, Master MMR. Plat 2, 73% overall win rate. Again, just Renekton is such, such a weak champ. Uh, These two were duo. Didn't really feel like it. I mean, actually, no, it did, because Kane went mid lane a lot. It's just that Darius beat them. 
Um, the Samira was a smurf, didn't really feel like it, but then she also had a Lux, and Lux is pretty bad. Um, but again, you know, you are smurfing, this player is smurfing, they're in their promo to Diamond, and they're in games with a Master player, so interesting. Again, that player was even in Platinum 4. Uh, same as the Darius, Platinum 4, top lane main, so that's where, you know, he's he's not a mid laner, but he just played a top laner mid. So big Gangplank player, really good win rate there, and doesn't play much Talia, but didn't do bad. Big Aphelios player, he was very good, very aggressive, but again, one of his tags is Vulnerable Laner. I can see why. He played so aggro, but then, I don't know, when he doesn't need to, he continued to do it. And uh, yeah, not bad on there on our Renata as well. Aggressive laner, Renata lover, and then everything else is auto-filled, because it obviously thinks I'm a mid-main, and then waking up first game of today. So that went really well. Um, I'm very happy about that. Um, plus 17 is not too bad. Obviously, we'd like some plus 18s, but uh, 17 is not too bad. Um... And yeah, we went 4-3-22, involved in 26 kills, which is great. Just put it in perspective, the enemy Lux was involved in 6 kills. I was involved in 26 kills. So we outperformed the Lux like mad. Like, yes, people go, she did damage. Obviously, Lux is designed to do poke damage, where Renata ultimately is not. But we just did so much more for our team. We revived a couple teammates when they would have died at the right time. Hit some nice ulties. Like, that was a, that was a pretty solid game as Renata. I'm happy with that. So yeah, that was the first game of the session. We'll get a couple more in. Again, not the longest stream today with everything that's happened with the car stuff. But uh, and yeah, as I say, the skin, it is quite nice to have a new skin. I quite liked it. Um, obviously, Renata is one of my champions, and I do, obviously, as you all know, like skins. So have to have another skin available for a thumbnail is quite nice. And it, it, honestly, I like the skin quite a lot too. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys enjoy this good game of Renata, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace, restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime, I know how to unleash eternal power.